Taking a break from our React and GSAP animation series, I do want to dive in to a quick tutorial on how we can pass in refs from a parent component to a child component and vice versa. In this case, what I want to do is I want to be able to access, let's say we have this p tag here of uh, passing refs and we have another one of called passing refs too. What I want to be able to do is in our parent component, I want to edit this passing refs p2 um, or animate it. And I can't really do that with just having this child component. So that's where passing refs comes in handy uh, when we need to animate several things instead of animating within the, the component itself, we could just shoot up the ref to the parent component and animate in here. This works really well if you have several components listed and you have like a timeline that you want to animate without necessarily worrying about delays and perfect timings. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to describe the project structure real quick. It's fairly simple. It is a create react app. The only thing that I changed was the app.js. I renamed it to parent.js and I created a components folder with a child.js component. Now to do so, I'm just going to break down something very simple that we all should know. And that's just simply passing a prop for now. And what I mean by that is if I add value here, or if I add, um, let's just say title prop and I set this to, it's going to be quotations, not brackets, but I set this to, let's just say passing refs. And if I want to grab this value, what I can do in the child's component is just do the tree shaking method. And then in curly braces, not title, just add title. And that pretty much just passes a prop from our parent component down to our child components. So ref is gonna work in a fairly similar way, but to pass a ref, what we need to do is in our parent.js, go ahead and call uh, use ref from react or bring in use ref from react. And what we could do here is just set, what we're gonna call it is just child ref to use ref of null. And what our prop can be called is forwarded ref. Uh, and this kind of comes from React's ref forwarding. And if you want to read more about that, you can check it out um, in the Re React documentation. So our forwarded ref prop is going to be set to child ref. So let's go ahead and do that. And if we also bring in a use effect hook, and let's go ahead and run that use effect. Now, if we just do console.log child ref right now, it's just going to return null. And we can see that the current is returning is dot null. Even if we add uh, dot current, oh, let's erase that. Uh, the reason we're adding dot current is because we need to get the current uh, value of child ref and we aren't returning a function um, of child ref. So that will return null for us, which makes sense because nothing is really assigned yet to assign child ref to our p tag or whatever we want it to we can jump into the child.js and let's go ahead and add a comma here and call forwarded ref and in our p tag itself we can just write ref as a sign to forwarded ref now go ahead and save that and we should still get the uh, null that's because we aren't using our use effect or waiting till our DOM has loaded. But once we use our use effect, what should happen is it should return our P tag, um, which we which we do want. If we just copy this here and paste it inside our use effect, it will return passing ref P. And to specify this, what we're gonna just do is add a quotations and say that this is coming from the parent.js. And this pretty much tells us that we can make changes to this p tag and we can make changes to it in our parent.js. If we go back to our child.js, what we could do here is also console log it as well with the use effect. And we could return or we can make changes to this p tag in our child.js without getting an error. So if we write use effect, Save that, um, and we need to bring in use effect as well. So once it's brought in, we could just run console.log 
and instead of running console.log child ref, we're gonna run console.log forwarded ref dot current and we'll also put quotations that let us know that this is actually coming from the child.js. So if we save this, we can see we're getting a ptag from child.js first, and then we're also passing a ref or this ptag to our parent component uh, from the parent.js. Now, this is really cool because then we could just animate this ptag in our parent.js without ever needing to go into the child.js and for our sake, use tweenmax. So with this, you can also pass functions. One thing also is even though that cons does work, I would recommend sending it to let because null needs to be changed. So back to writing a function, what we could just do is const handle color. And we could just do color. We want to change the color of the parent. So we could just write child ref dot current and style dot color this will just change the color to whatever color is set to and we could pass this in our child's components by simply saying handle color is using the handle color function and in our child.js we bring in handle color and what we could do is on click in our p tag run oh wrong one run a function that will run handle color and we get set whatever color we want in here because if we set red this parameter is set to red it's going to run red here and pass or pass red through the color and you know so on red very simple stuff but right now if we click on passing ref with the on click event handler it should run this function handle color which is written in our parent component and it should turn the color of this string to red. So if we click on this, what should happen is it should just turn to red. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to let you know how we can actually just pass refs so that in our next video, we can create a really cool looking animation. Now for part three of our React and GSAP series, this is actually a sneak peek at the animation that we'll be creating. But you can kind of see the idea of what GSAP is really capable of. This does it for this tutorial. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe because that truly helps me out. Look out for part three and it should be coming out in a few days.